Alright, it's 11.40 on a Sunday. There is a Cusco diff on the table. And some parts for a rear end. And the empty rear end. And the Chris. Hey. <laughs> Chris, why are we here uh, on we're Sunday? Here. We're here because I made some bad decisions last week and I grenaded my rear end. Okay, so. we'll, we'll come back. We'll come <laughs> back and we'll talk about it. Uh, yeah, I usually would take it out. Yeah. <laughs> We're draining the oil and we found something in the drain plug. A lot of things in the drain plug. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. Okay, Axel's out. Chris is here. Here, here. Sh should I just pull this out now? Um, is it? Did you break it loose? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Pull it out. Yeah. If you guys have trouble breaking the seal on the pumpkin and the diff, you can put your jack under the nose of this guy and just break the seal. Yeah. It was pretty easy. I, I think you missed it by a second. But okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Here. This is the oil. Looks so blue, like shiny boogers out. Yeah. Look at all the shiny stuff. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not good. <laughs> We'll see what's going on in a bit. We're gonna set this Cusco diff to? 80%. How do you set this up to 80%? So, um, I'm gonna double check right now in a second, but it's the arrangement of these plates. So you know how like there's a, uh, there's these ones with the uh, the ears sticking out mm -hmm. on the outside, and then you have the ones with the ones internal. Mm -hmm. So apparently you switch the orientation of those. Mm -hmm. And so you'll have um, two of these stick, um sitting on each other mm -hmm. and that will make it 80 percent okay so, yeah i'll i do have to double check it okay yeah. yeah double check i'm sure there's a torque spec and lock type for these yeah. two yeah yeah so okay cool we have the diff apart you can see the pinion was hitting part of the lsd and some miscellaneous metal broke off inside so this gear set made noise, but it actually looks okay to use. You can see where the pinion was hitting the LSD, but Chris wants to go 4.7, so we're gonna do that. Now's the time to do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this times eight. Cool. All right. And you can get these at Battle Garage. <laughs> All right, pressing on pinion bearings, pro tip, it's not flush. This part of the, this needs to stick out. If you're, if it's flush, you guys are doing it wrong. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, Chris didn't know that. <laughs> Chris didn't know that because we're still pulling shards, shards. of metal out of this. Yeah, so as I wipe it like this, you can, uh, not anymore, but earlier, yeah. you can just see metal shards coming yeah. out of the drain hole. There's two, is, um, like, windage axle tubes. I would pull these out every time mm -hmm. and clean them out, especially if there's a bunch of metal in there. Yeah. All right. All right, I told Chris to clean the axles too, get all of this, the crap off. What did we notice? Uh, so it's funny because I was just asking you about the difference between non-LSD and LSD axles and mid-conversation I just realized that these are two different axles. <laughs> As you can see this one has a straight cut not much of a bevel on it and this one has a bevel on it and you were saying this one is longer right? Um, one of them should be longer than the other one. Yeah this one looks a little longer so yeah yeah no I, didn't, I never noticed I mean, I wouldn't have known because I've never taken it apart, but um, the previous owner replaced this axle, so I believe he's got this one uh, over here. Yeah, so. so one of these is LSD, one of these is not an LSD axle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now you guys know. Yeah. So the difference is uh, um, non-LSD axle should be longer. So if you're plugging it into an LSD car, you need to, don't quote me, but you need to cut some of this off 
like some however many millimeters but if you're running a aftermarket LSD like we're doing today mm -hmm. it's the hole in the LSD goes straight through so the axle length doesn't matter so today we're okay mm -hmm. Chris, what are you doing? Just cleaning up all the parts we need from my old diff. It's like a slinger, the spacer, right? The pinion spacer. It's the lock. Uh, I don't even know what you call this. This is the flange. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, where are we at? Cool. So, this is our second setup. Um, adjusting pinion depth. Uh, when you don't have a pinion depth tool, typically what you do is you check what your um, gear pattern looks like. So why don't we take a look at that really fast. It looks like nice and centered. Yeah. You can check out this. This is the drive side. Mm -hmm. And this is the coast side. And as you can see, it's nice and centered, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's what we want. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we're doing final assembly. We have our pinion depth, pinion bearing preload set with a weird solid spacer. Thank you, Battle Garage. Battle Garage again. Thank you for the uh, pinion seal. So we're gonna do final install of pinion seal. There's a like a garter ring. Mm -hmm. In the pinion seal mm. um, you can do this with any seal get a big bunch of grease and uh, put it in there engine oil gear oil it'll wash out this is uh, when you hammer the seal in it'll prevent that ring from popping out oh okay yeah, yeah. I've had that problem installing other seals before so. it's a good tip cool all right, so then when we come back, we'll have this shit together. <laughs> All right, so we're ready to plug this guy back in. We have our carrier bearing preload set. We just did a final pattern. If you want to check out the pattern. And then if you want to see the drive side. Drive side. Yeah. And then you want to show them the pinion? Oh. That might be kind of hard to see. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. We're going to plug it in. And cool. We'll, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It's a momentous day. We're going to finally fill gear. We're going to finally fill gear oil in this thing. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's been quite quite the long day yeah. so tip for you guys filling up gear oil in this thing if you can find a friend if you one guy turns the turns the wheel while you fill you can put more oil in there so oh i didn't know that yeah that's cool yeah and if you notice you can tell there's a good lsd because because you can't turn the wheel the other way now oh yeah <laughs> both of them turn the same way yeah cool. all right we're gonna fear fill gear oil and come back all right 